Okay, so um, obviously we've had quite a lot of experience with MAM. There's now thousands of different choices out there. Um, and one of the first things really is that any MAM is going to have to have a shared storage to work with. You know, it needs to be able to monitor the assets. It needs to know where they go. Um, those assets should be secured on RAID protected storage, etc. cetera. Um, and really to have any meaningful usage, the, the MAM or the controller in the MAM needs to be aware of those assets and, and uh, you know, be able to provide them in a way that the users of the system can easily find their stuff, um, perhaps group and catalog their stuff, you know, add additional metadata, which is going to help along the way, um, and really just make it a lot easier to organize um, all of the assets that you have and, and to get the best use out of them. Um, it becomes more of an issue with the more assets you have. And obviously, as much as I would like to sell lots and lots of online storage, there also comes a point where you need to get those assets off onto something in, in the form of an archive, whatever that might be. Um, archives do vary in terms of performance. And I think one of the mistakes that people have made in the past and probably are continually doing it is archiving off um, into storage that's very difficult or slow to bring stuff back. You know, at the point that you want an asset, you don't really want to be sitting around for a week or a couple of days even to get those things back. You want some way of, of getting hold of them quickly. Um, it's tempting to say have an online storage and a near line storage. And both of those being shared storage are monitored by the MAM. And the MAM knows what's on the online, what's on the near line. The near line could be petabytes and petabytes. And actually, from a convenience point of view, that's great. But once you start getting into the, you know, where should those assets be long term, perhaps that's the point that you're looking at LTO, you know, cold storage or, you know, even some cloud solutions to do that. But getting the best out of those assets or keeping organized and knowing where they are is very much the job of the MAM. Um, and, you know, it's very difficult for us to necessarily say that any MAM is better than another because they all seem to be stronger at different things. Um, and one of the one of the problems is that you have MAM companies tying into specific storage, which kind of seems a little bit wrong to me. Um, you know, most customers will have their storage in the first place and then perhaps decide later on to get organized and put a MAM in place. You don't want to be told that this fantastic MAM that you're looking at is not compatible with your storage. One of the benefits of being a NAS and working with standard sharing protocols is actually we're almost 100% compatible with any MAM. I mean, a MAM company would be crazy to not be compatible with a NAS. Um, so, you know, we have always believed that MAM is essential, but I think both myself and my business partner have always felt um, that it's too clunky and it's too reliant on the human element. So the human element being the weak point actually really highlights AI and, you know, modern technology to step in and try to eliminate as much um, problem that you can have from the human element. Um, in fact, um, we don't necessarily produce a full-blown MAM, but we definitely produce a stepping stone to anybody's MAM needs. And in fact, that stepping stone can sometimes be enough for a customer, you know, in terms of just organizing their stuff and doing something meaningful with it. Um, but if it isn't, then obviously they can step to a full-blown MAM with all sorts of different transcoding capabilities and everything. But one of the key components of our Mosaic software is that it works with AI recognition. And that means that really with the low res files that it can create automatically, they can be sent to a cloud service um, and the recognition can be done. And then basically the tags inside Mosaic are all populated for you. So rather than having somebody sit there and watch hours and hours of footage, putting all of that in, it can do it for you automatically. And it's amazing to see. It's a really good demonstration of how AI can help a lot. Um, so, you know, the bigger customers who are dealing with millions and millions of assets that may not always have the right description in the file name or whatever it is, to be able to see those clips as a, a little preview movie or a thumbnail um, and to really see them in a meaningful way and then catalog them, group them, create collections, um, you know, it, it helps massively and it makes it very easy to get hold of those things.